as i mentioned in the intro i think it is almost impossible to list out all the numerous innovative initiatives taken by a lot of jesus youth in different parts of the world you know with their personal charisms but just to collect some of our uh, some of the new mothers which we tried in the path of evangelization that's what my i'm just trying to uh, do here maybe let me start with the pope benedict 16's message in the last world youth day where he mentioned it very clearly that the church exists to announce we already heard about it to announce this message of hope to all human being maybe he was echoing the significance of the missionary mandate of the church which is already expressed to by uh, pope paul 6 in his ecclesial uh, letter of evangelion and shanti uh, it says church exists in order to evangelize we know that it means that the reason why church is that for evangelization not evangelization is not something a secondary activity where the church participate but this is the very heart of all what church does and again later pope john paul second call for a new evangelization he says in redemptorism missio chapter 3 i sense that the moment has come to convert all of the church energies to a new evangelization later let's see what he meant by this new evangelization and let's come to our moment jesus youth always with a lot of dynamics and you know, different ways trying to do the evangelization uh we know that uh, we call ourselves as a missionary movement at the service of the church earlier we used to say that the tagline we, uh, with our logo was uh, changing the face of the youth but later we realized that the very nature of the movement is missionary and the main focus of this movement is youngsters the youngsters who always like the novelty and they are thrilled by the latest and trendiest now these youngsters when we are trying to reach out to these youngsters this movement was always in search of finding new ways the movement was searching the ways to reach out to these youngsters in their own life situations in ways which is relevant to their understanding and that is what uh, we were trying and that gave birth to numerous initiatives ministries and different things in the history of jesus youth and it is important to speak the message of gospel to the young in the dialect of the new generation we all know about the two main method or maybe the fundamental basic uh, elements in the evangelization jesus youth you know the, the style of jesus youth evangelization the power of uh, witnessing life as pope says again this christians will inv- inevitably arouse a spirit of inquiry in, in those who see their way of life why are they like this why do they live this way i think these are the questions always asked to jesus youth in different parts of the world why they do this why they like this this kinds of a christ centered witnessing life brings a radical change into the life of many youngsters today and the second method we say ppe or person to person evangelization uh, again uh, vanjali nunshanti says that side by side with the collective proclamation of the gospel the other form of evangelization that is the person to person one remains valid and important these two mothers we always use as some of the basic elements of our evangelization and again the new worlds redden doris missio i like to read one more quotation where the pope says or explains about this new world of today where a new humanity so to speak is emerging and where new models of developments are taking place and he is giving some of the specification or characteristic of this new uh, world is that the youth who cannot be evangelized by the ordinary means of pastoral work and the second category may be the migrants and refugees and the third category may be the new culture emerging in the mass media and uh, pope says the church missionary activity ought to be directed to these areas and it was interesting to note that you know the jesus youth was already doing a lot of things in all these three areas the youth who cannot be evangelized by the ordinary means of pastoral work or the migrants and refugees or in the field of media we have a lot of examples with us let's come uh, look into the past history of our movements where we have taken some solid new steps for evangelization i i like i was trying to put it in under some category maybe the first place is the mission placements 
we know that the mission placements, uh, the mission training and placements in different areas are uh, you know, one of our key tool of evangelization. I'm just taking examples, one one example of some major three areas where we are placing in maybe the full-time volunteers training as an example of long-term full-time commitment. We are already heard a lot about it, youngsters who are spending their one year only for the Lord. We have more than 1,300 youngsters in the first 18 years and presently with the three trainings it is spreading. And another initiative was one example from the Nurses Ministry of India, the Mission Nurses Placements, long-term commitments with uh, 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 part-time long-term commitments where the nurses who are ready to work in the mission places for one year taking mission commitment and placing them in the mission areas and there is the discipleship formation program that is happening in Kuwait where short-term commitment places after training the placing the missionaries in different places these kinds of mission placements at the same time may not be in a uh, trained way but there are many youth who have chosen their jobs, shifted or migrated to some regions with an evangelistic viewpoint. When I am looking from here, I can see a lot of examples here. In India, it's where people have traveled to the mission places, people have selected job in the mission places, people who work in the mission areas in North India for a lesser salary or a, in a very difficult situation, only with an evangelistic outlook, or choosing career with an evangelistic outlook, or choosing the profession or a college with an evangelistic outlook. We have a lot of examples as an innovative you know, method of evangelization in Jesus' youth. And again, there are people who extend their, you know, they have spent uh, a year or more in the places they studied or worked specially for their mission commitment, even as they had better career prospects elsewhere.